All right, good day, hi, and welcome. It smells like gas in here. And it's whippersnipper clippings. This is my life. This, yeah, two stroke gas and whippersnipper clippings. And a dirty windshield. And flies in my freaking. Get some air in here. See, there's a, that wind, eh? That wind is kind of deadly too because uh, what happens is uh, that's what keeps the fire going, right? So, you can tell the leaves are looking for more water. So, what we need is like a light rain for about three or four days, and then a, a break for about three or four days, and then more light rain for about three or four days. Light. So it soaks in, not just this uh, heavy torrential runs off in five minutes, it takes all the nutrients out of the soil. That's why the soil is so dry, is because the nutrients is going. And it's because when we get rain, it's just like monsoon. It's not like, uh, you know, good penetrating rain stuff. So we can see how, wow, look how smoky that is. That is so smoky. So smoky. Oh, little robins out there getting their worms. But just that little bit of rain we got yesterday turns everything into jungle, which is good because that means there's water retained in the, in the even in the scutch grass and stuff like that. So. Hmm. Oil pressure's pretty high there. It's usually not that high. That's weird. I did have the oil changed in this, so. Oh, uh, it's just doing dodgy, weird stuff. And it's within the acceptable limit, so as long as it doesn't go higher. Mind you, I didn't really look at the oil. Uh, pressure gauge uh, when I changed it so maybe there's just too much oil in there I don't know I'll have to, I'll have to check it because normally uh, my uh, regular maintenance that I do is on Sundays but I've been working straight through this is like day 9 or 10 11 <laughs> you know in a row right so uh I have to wait till either tomorrow or Friday. Today is Wednesday. So tomorrow or Friday, I'll have to uh, do my uh, regular maintenance. I think that's just because of the new oil. Uh, so that gives you an idea. The difference in uh, oils, like uh, the last oil, the oil uh, pressure gauge was sitting at um, about the halfway mark, right? Which is still acceptable, but I, uh, to me, that oil wasn't acceptable. That oil was dunzo. <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at the smoke up ahead. Holy jeez. That is crazy. Just taking out that little bit of bricks, I can notice a little bit of a weight difference. Noisy. So yeah, I have a dirty windshield. I got lots of windshield fluid, but I wait till it's really dirty before I actually use it. Because <laughs> it's just like, it's dirty all the time. And especially like this, eh? Like, So it's worse than other areas, but uh, for the smoke, but uh, it's still pretty smoky. Still pretty smoky. Like you see that car coming around the, the corner there, like that's pretty smoky. A lot of clients keep asking me, "Do you want to work in this?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, that's no problem." 
as long as there's no fire. I'm more worried about the fire part than the smoke part. Yeah, I know smoke is deadly, but, uh, it's Joe, but, uh, fire is also pretty deadly too. Like, so the closest one to me, I don't know if they got it out or not, is about 30 miles away or about uh, 50 kilometers. So I, I don't know if they got it out or not. So I hope they did. Uh, I didn't hear any water bombers yesterday. So usually when you don't hear the water bombers, you know that it uh, they've got it pretty under control. But it's just that there's so many fires that have been lit. Uh, that's my theory. <laughs> it's too cool right now for uh, like all the hot weather was last week, right? Now mind you, we had a late spring and a late spring basically without a lot of frost means the the frost that's a cool old truck it's a ram 2500 i wonder whose that is uh anyway um not as cool as this truck though um do you know oh, don't see his dog out <laughs> he's, got, he's got the coolest little coley there a little border coley uh smart little dog uh, but uh, yeah, so when you when you don't have a lot of frost in the ground What happens is you get uh, you, The ground dries out quicker, right? So we had a really late spring with not a lot of frost in the ground Holy smokes, you're gonna uh, when we get by the the lake there You'll see all the smoke kind of just build up. I mind you, there's a bit of fog on there, too, but Very smoggy It's like being in the city of Los Angeles in 92 <laughs> wow that is foggy and it's been really strangely windy like all night too like usually you don't have that much wind in the night eh? so a lot of wind it's cool and very foggy uh, very smoky like a fog doesn't have that kind of blue to it right so and you can smell it So a lot of people that are like asthma sensitive and all that, they, yeah, they're having a hard time right now. Probably told you guys a million times, but this used to be the writer for the young and the restless that lives here. I don't know who lives there now, but it's like a mansion. It, what well, is a mansion? <laughs> like it's a, like a log, not a log cabin, but like a a cabin mansion, if that makes, like it's, it's pretty big, yeah, pretty big property. The property's almost as big as these potholes that I gotta dodge. Saw my friend who got hit by lightning yesterday. Made fun of him a little bit. I probably told you guys that. But he made fun of me when I got stung in the eyeball. Uh, somebody asked, how, said, how long did it take uh, for you to heal up after you got the uh, stung in the eyeball? It didn't take that long. I was on histamine shots for about three or four days. Because uh, the, the wasp got me in the, uh, in, the, in the white part of the eyeball. That was a few years back there. And uh, my buddies were laughing at me the whole way to the hospital. The nurse looked at me like I was an idiot. She was right. Because I went after the nest with a hockey stick and kind of stupid hurts, right? So, uh, yeah. So, I, I didn't get any pity from anybody. Just, just you're stupid. <laughs> you know, or just like uncontrollable laughing, you know. Yeah, so I call him Mr. Zap or something like that. I forget what I called him yesterday. I said, you know, when you get hit by lightning once, you're more likely to get hit by lightning again. And he's like, no, shut up. So I guess what he's saying is we're never going fishing in the, <laughs> fishing in the, in the thunderstorms anymore like we used to do. Out in the middle of the boat, out in the middle of the Danford Lake over there that we just passed. <laughs> Freaking friggin thunder and lightning. And, yeah. well, I wonder what they're building over there. Where's that top soil? Ah, soil. Holy jeez. But, uh, yeah. So, we'll see how today goes. And then, uh, I, uh, kind of like, uh, s uh, put it between, uh, two days. So, instead of just going a seven-hour day today, I did, I might, I might, I might change it up like that. If it's easier on the body, because eh? my, like, you know, nine days in a row is hard on the body, you know, like, uh. The whipper snipping parts, you know, it's not that hard. It's the the shoveling yesterday, shoveling gravel. You know, when you every time you if you got like shovelfuls of gravel, it's no problem. But it's when you hit those stones, it just stops you dead, right? And that kind of really takes it out of you. It really does. Uh, not sore, just fatigue. You know, like your muscles get tired, right? So you do need a day of rest once in a while. So. 
Today I'll do this. This is mostly grass cutting today. Uh, gonna be a little bit of raking. And then hopefully it rains after I'm done, not before. Uh, and it rains province wide, take down some of the smoke. So you can see like the road's still kind of wet here. Like there's no dust behind me. So that's a good sign. So that must have rained overnight or something. But it's still like it's not a good soak in, right? It need, we need that good soak in where, you know, it's, you know, wet for a couple of days kind of thing. You know, after it rains. But you only get that if you get a light rain. You don't get that if you get a heavy, heavy rain. It just runs off. And then it gets more droughty, so. Yeah, so hopefully within the next week, uh, all these fires will be done. Uh, you know, because we are in the cool spot, so next week or the week after, it'll be warm again. So it, it's kind of like a cycle. Every about two weeks, you're a little warmer than average. Like right now, it's 11 degrees, so it's a little bit below seasonal. It's been a mainly we've been below seasonal average here in Quebec. Uh, it's been a little higher than seasonal average out way west, right? Uh, they only talk about the higher out, you know, higher seasonal averages. They never talk about the lows. So if you mix them all together, we're kind of just par for the course. Uh, yeah. So it must have rained here last night or something. You see all the little branchlings all over the roads? That's a good, good indicator that it was uh, a little storm went through. And uh, one thing, like I say, with 